In this video, we will learn how to solve for minimum variance portfolio when we have two risky assets. The exercise that we will cover is as follows. Consider two risky assets, A and B. The expected return on asset A is 20%. The expected return on asset B is 30%. The volatility of asset A is 10%, and the volatility of asset B is 20%. And the correlation between the returns of A and B is 0.4. Find the expected return and volatility of the minimum variance portfolio. So let's begin with the definition of variance of a portfolio with two risky assets. Variance of the portfolio equals the variance of asset A times the weight of asset A in the portfolio, square, plus the variance of asset B times the weight of asset B in the portfolio, square, plus two times the volatilities of A and B, times the weights of A and B, times the correlation between A and B. This follows from the definition of variance of a portfolio that has two assets. Now, since we have only two assets in the portfolio, the sum of weights of both assets must equal 1. Since we know the values of all the variables here, except for the weights of assets A and B, let's plug in the values of the variables and rewrite this equation in terms of the weight of asset A. So the variance equals 0.1 square times the weight of asset A in the portfolio square plus the variance of B times 1 minus the weight of asset A square plus 2 times the volatility of A times the volatility of B times the weight of A times the weight of B which is just 1 minus the weight of A times the correlation between A and B. A little bit of algebra here will get us the following. Variance equals 0 0.034 WA square minus 0 0.064 WA plus 0 0.04. Note how this equation reduces down to a small simple expression with WA as the only unknown variable. Let's call this equation 1. In order to find the minimum variance portfolio, we need to take the derivative of the variance of the portfolio with respect to the weights of assets A and B. Since our equation has simplified to 1 with weight of asset A as the only unknown variable, the derivative of variance with respect to the weight of asset A equals 0. 0, 6, 8 times the weight of asset A minus 0 0.064. Let's set this equation equal to 0 to solve for weight of A. In that case, WA equals 0 0.94 and WB equals 1 minus 0 0.94 which equals 0. 0, 6. We can employ a quick check to confirm that the variance is minimum by taking the second derivative of this variance with respect to the weight of asset A, which equals 0 0.068, which is positive. So from rules of basic calculus, we know that variance is at its minimum. So the expected return of minimum variance portfolio then equals the expected return on asset A times the weight of asset A plus the expected return on asset B times the weight of asset B which equals 0.2 times 0.94 plus 0.3 times 0.06 which 
in turn equals 0 0.206 or 20.6%. So the expected return of minimum variance portfolio is 20.6%. We can use equation one to calculate the variance and hence the volatility of minimum variance portfolio. So from equation one, the variance equals 0 0.034 times the weight of asset A in the portfolio square minus 0 0.064 times the weight of asset A plus 0 0.04, which equals 0 0.00. 988. To calculate volatility, we will just take the square root of variance, which equals 0 0.0994 or 9.94%. So the expected return of this minimum variance portfolio equals 20.6% and the volatility of minimum variance portfolio equals 9.94%. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.